Hello and welcome to my very first SketchUp tutorial. Seriously, how crazy is this? <laughs> um, what I'm going to do today is take you through some very basic functions of SketchUp and some of the various tools and uh, some of the menus so that we can create a very basic room. Okay. So first of all, it's very important that you choose the right drawing template. In my scenario, with regards to using metric, I have chosen architectural design in millimeters. Okay, this is your basic model space, and here you can see very clearly an axis um, of blue, which is vertically above the origin, which is right here. It's the center. Green, which is north. Red, which is east. And um, obviously, the the dotted red is west. The dotted green is south and the dotted blue is anything below the origin. If I just click right here you'll see um, it's highlighted yellow and it tells you that this is the origin. It's good modelling practice to always start your model or your component or whatever it is you're drawing at the, at the origin. Uh, so what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle um, and the easiest way to do that is by using the rectangle tool. So, starting at the origin, I'm just going to pull that out and then click. And if I hit the orbiting tool and pull it around, then you can, you can get a better view of that rectangle. If I go to the camera, standard views and top, it gives you that at a bird's eye view. It's very uh, handy to, to, be, to become familiar with the various camera angles and the views that you can have because they come in very handy when you're drawing and modeling. And um, you'll see later on with the other tutorials I have as to how useful they are. So this is the pan tool. It allows you to go up, down, left and right. This is the magnifying glass that lets you zoom in and zoom out. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to create walls with the offset tool. So you click on the offset tool, wait for the red square to appear. This area will become shaded and then click and it allows you to draw another shape exactly the same as the one that you clicked on originally. Um, and I'm gonna make that 150. Okay. Now I'm gonna orbit again around. You can see that it allows you to move in all angles. Um, and it's pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is click on the push pull tool, highlight the outer area, click on it and then pull it up and here you can see already that uh, the walls have appeared. I'm going to give those a measurement of well a height of 2400 which is kind of like a standard ceiling height and now you can see uh, this is starting to take shape already. What I'm going to do now is create a doorway and I'm going to do it with the line tool. So you start again on the edge, I'm going to draw that up. I'm following the blue line of the blue axis. This tells me that this is perfectly straight and true. Bring it across, making sure I follow the green axis and then down again. And if I orbit this and then hit the push pull function and push that through and align it here, you can see that I've created a doorway and you can actually see through there with that. Okay. Very similar function then obviously if you want to create a couple of windows. I'm just going to zoom in, pan over 
I'm going to use the rectangle tool this time to create two windows. I'm going to double click, press M for move, hold down control, you'll see a cross appear and then click and drag it across on the green axis and that's telling you that it's perfectly straight and then let that go. If I go to push pull and select that and with this one I've created two windows. Obviously two very basic windows but that's kind of the basic um, shapes that you can create with the various functions in SketchUp. I'm going to create a roof next on this. And the easiest way to do that is to get the line tool. This blue circle denotes the center of this line. So I'm going to draw up using the blue axis to make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to come right down here and here. Select and delete. Orbit around. And then get my push pull to do to drag that across and it stops automatically because that's the end of the actual geometry and you can see right here how simple it is to create a very basic house shape. That's all literally I'm going to talk about in this tutorial because I appreciate that when you're just learning um, it can be difficult to take in too much information. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again.